Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the innkeeper. Today we're playing some Prison Arctic Mega Max. I didn't zoom in completely. There we go. I zoomed in nearly completely there. I feel like that's good enough. You know, we're following the trend of zooming out whenever we say Mega Max. So that means I probably have to zoom in now. Maybe that's a look like every time I say Mega Max, Mega Max. We've got to say Mega Max, Mega Max. Got to say it that way. Murder right next to me right now. What a, what a terrific intro. That probably has annoyed a bunch of newcomers. I'm not going to... Okay, those tables look really weird from a distance. They look like they're chopped up. With the trays on them, the food trays. There we go. I guess dinner was a little while ago. Well, not dinner. Uh, lunch. Well, not lunch. Breakfast. Very, very, uh, very, very early breakfast. Breakfast. There we go. What did we do last session? Well, we we created cell block. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Oh, wait, no. Does that count as a, a block? That's like the Supermax block. Maybe that's Supermax block. Supermax block A, I suppose, yeah, that's super max block A, and this is normal max, well, actually, mega max, okay, this is, me this is super, no, this is mega max, <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> maximum, so this would, no, no, but we've have, we've got maximum, this is super max, okay, so this is super max wing A, and this is, uh, mega max, no, you, we'll say mega max, A, B, C, D, E, N. anyway, I know, I don't have to sing, but <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny. Wait, does this count? Wait, no, this is protective custody uh, cell block A. Merv is in an area he shouldn't be. Merv! Go over there. Don't eat those. Bad clothing. Also, that sounded very, very strange from those, um, did, well, don't understand the context of the situation. He was eating clothes again. He, he's managed to just find other clothes to eat now. It's annoying. Hmm. I've told him time and time again he shouldn't do it, and he does anyway. He's probably going to go and fly there again now. Today's session? I'm not really too sure. He just did it again. He just flew over there again, didn't you? You little rascal. You're like the potion seller guy. Right. Just move over here. There we are. What was it, scoundrel? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, today's session, we're going to be accepting ridiculous amount of prisoners. That's what we're going to hopefully be able to do. We're going to accept tons and tons and tons and tons of prisoners and try and build a world around doing that. Hopefully, it shouldn't go completely tits up. To be honest with you, I feel like it's going to, mostly because of the cooking situation. I haven't actually looked at the meta of the cookers. Something tells me I've got enough, but I can't really be too sure, to be honest with you. Now, all these fridges right now are just completely full. Something tells me we'll need to pro most probably expand sort of this walking area right here and just turn it into extended uh, kitchen, including the storage zone that we currently have. That's most probably what's going to happen. Alongside that, what is probably going to happen is there's going to be extra kitchen areas where the yards are. And we're just going to have to end up making new yard areas with these new connections that we're going to have on either side here. They do cost 94 each, I believe. Oh, no, 90 each. Do we get a rebate or something off that? That does remind me. We do need to go to bureaucracy because we have a tax relief right here that I think is going to help out. I mean, you will see 1,500 taxes per 10 grand of daily profit. I mean, that's all right. That, that's... A pretty high amount of money. I mean, it's 15%, so I'm not sure why it even says that, but they're still. There you go. I guess it's for those. <laughs> it's for those, but that is 10 grand right there. So, you know, it's going to take, what, nine days, eight days in order to get the money back from actually buying the tax relief itself. It's only 10 grand. Let's get it. I'm not, I'm not too sure if I really want to get the haven, to be honest with you, but... We're probably going to anyway, because we'll probably make, we'll make a decent amount of money by the looks of it with all this wood that we currently have. Actually, you know what? We probably won't. It doesn't look like we're actually selling the wood or even crafting the wood right now. We're just sort of having it lay there. Maybe they'll come to their, se their senses and start doing stuff. Wait, is this the... Oh, is he... What's he doing? Oh, he's, he's searching or something. Like an inspection. Oh, look. They're all like... Oh, they're all working. Okay, we just got the... Uh, oh, is he teaching? Oh, yeah, he's probably teaching. Mm. Yeah, it just said teaching underneath his uh, name right there. Or above... The, well, no. Where his name would be. I couldn't see it before because it was constantly being blocked by all these items. I might also add that he is tiny in comparison to everyone else. Or at least he just feels smaller. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it, I don't know. He just there's something wrong with him. Uh, also, he's unsafe. There's only one guard that's going to defend him from you know being eaten alive. I'm not sure if they are sort of a bunch of cannibals in there. I kind of hope they're not. Anyway, let's go ahead and accept like 50 people up, uh, off the bat. What we can do at the same time is probably get this workshop extended. Get a new one, basically. 
And that should hopefully help with the added amount of workers uh, workers that we will inevitably get. I'm not sure if there is any other form of uh, work that we can get them to do. Uh, there is kitchen work, but I, I mean money-making work. That's what I really want right now. I want them to make the big bucks, get them out there, get them trained, and make the big bucks, basically. Merv is uh, just sort of eating me right now. He's, he's, on, he's on the mouse, and he's just sort of like... I'm not too sure what he's doing. I guess talking to my hand? They talk to the hand, literally, right there. It's quite fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, Merv Cam, uh, not out yet. Available at your latest stores, however. But soon, you know, it's in development. It's in development. It's at the alpha stages right now. We we'll currently have a piece of paper, and we have alpha on it. But it's uh, the really, like, really artistic alpha. It's, uh, it's like, you know, Sponge uh, Square Guy. Sponge, uh, SpongeBob, Sponge, you know, hit with the kids. Sponge Bet Square Guy with the the, because, you know, procrastination. Anyway, <laughs> I'm currently procrastinating, and it's full circle, ladies and gentlemen, full circle. Right, anyway, so it doesn't look like, while I've been talking, I've been looking around here, it doesn't look like there is another way. I mean, we do have the library, uh, but at the moment, it just seems like the work, uh, the, the workshop is the only way for us to make money from what I can see. The library just seems to be a way of improving general education, which does remind me, we've done 40% on the uh, the general education course right here. Let's double check to see if the general education course, you know, well, let's see if there's anyone that actually is more qualified for the general education qualification. Apparently not. No, nope. three have finished still, two have passed. I can't believe that. Oh, Merv. You run over there and get it. Right. Go there. Now, I have um, changed my mic setup just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, so I do apologize if it sounds a little bit different. I, I haven't changed... Okay. <laughs> what, I what I mean by that is I've moved it slightly further away, I've turned it up a little bit, and I've faced it sort of... It's, just, it's in a different direction, basically. It's still toward me, but previously it was sort of slightly to the side. Now it's actually pointing towards sort of my bottom lip, which, you know, might work. I'm not too sure. It sounded better from the recording, so there you go. I'm going to be trying that at the moment. There's a there's a tropical tree over here. I'm not too sure if we are living within a desert of some form. It's a possibility, but there's a lot of foliage. I'm just saying, even though this is the forestry right here. Anyway, you know, continuing uh, procrastination. So let's go ahead and jump over to our prisoner section. Oh, wait. I've, I completely forgot, actually, how to get new prisoners. It, it's in here somewhere. Um, this button... Oh, it's intake. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that does make sense. Now, we can get death row inmates, um, which is interesting. I didn't know this before. Death row inmates require a specifically designed death row cell before they're able to be transferred into your prison. The death row intake is also a lot slower than regular intake, and you won't always get an increase to the death row pool. These inmates are few and far between. So we need a cell that's specifically made for the death row guy. How does that work? We've got a cell right here. Maybe it's a cell that is a logistics thing. Ah, here we go. Death row only. So what we can do is we can turn these into cells. So death row, death row, death row. Sure. And then uh, we don't really want to turn those into death row. But there you go. That was a rhyme. And it was pretty fantastic. We'll have a guard in here at all times. And in here as well. Sounds like a good idea. And in here. Because we are just completely and utterly safe right now. We'll get three new guards just because. Uh, mostly to compensate for those three that we are currently using. Now what we can do is we can go over here. Oh no, we need to get a bed. Now because, you know, the death row. They've done bad things, don't get me wrong. But I feel like they need to have a little bit of a sort of a goodbye gift. So what we're going to do is we'll give him a TV. There we are. Let him watch TV. Uh, we'll have another one down here in case we want two. It looks like we probably won't ever need more than two. Because, you know, we've got the Hardy Boys right over here just sort of waiting for the, the time of judgment. I'm not sure why the Hardy Boys, to be honest with you. Just sort of the first thing that came uh, to my head. Get a bench in here. Wait, do we need that? I'm not too sure if we really do, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to bother. I'll give him a pool table. It'll be fantastic. Uh, we need a toilet. That's a given. We'll have it sort of right here so they can see. <laughs> no, that sounds ridiculous. We'll just have it right here. 
One right on this side. The TV has to be far away. We should have it face backwards, to be honest with you. And also, we shouldn't have any sprinklers in here because if they, if it does burn, then you know they're burning hell. Like you know, that you know, I'm not sure if this is a highly religious prison. I'm not, I'm, I'm not really too sure. It looks like it has a form of religion, but I'm not too sure if it follows anything specific. Oh, maybe a cult. I, I prefer that. Let's let's do the cult thing instead. <laughs> there we are. That sounds fantastic. I need to get a water supply in here. Now I did say that I would have another sort of water station right here, but it doesn't look like it's really going to make a difference. So <laughs> what we're going to do is just connect up the current water system that we have to the prison down here. And you know what, I should probably get these connected just in case we ever need to use them on these sides. I don't see us ever using this like zone right around here, it's just sort of dead space. If anything, it will be extended forestry, that will basically be it. Which also makes me wonder whether we should have armed guards here instead. If they're death row, then they are tough. And I do mean tough. Oh, golly gee. Do I mean tough? So you know what? We'll get rid of these. We'll put... Oh, okay. Oh, wait. So we can't actually put guard... Okay, we'll put, it's fine. We can put an arm guard in here. So we'll just get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. Oh, okay. And then what we can do is we can have an arm guard sort of go around this area. And we'll have another arm guard in here. And another arm guard in here. Oh! Oh! What's this? What's this about? It's time for a shakedown, I think, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently the AM, so once again, we have just missed the quota for a, a proper shakedown, I would say. We probably want to have a camera down here as well. We've got a few cameras in here, so we should really be fine when it comes to keeping them occupied, as it were. We all need to go ahead and get ourselves some more armed guards, though. They are a lot more expensive, but I think it's worth it. I'm just not too sure why they're just so angry. Look at them. They are so angry. And they all carried like huge shotguns. It's fantastic. Anyway, so this should be de uh, designated as a cell now. If we want to just go ahead and change the material of the floor into probably wood. Let's go for the wood. Or we could go for the white tiles. Make them truly feel... Now, you know what? The wood, I want them to relax. I want them to chill out. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, okay. They're scum. They, they did probably... They probably murdered... Yeah, I, I would say they're probably murdered. There's no other reason to really go on death row unless you took a life. In my opinion. Or multiple lives. Then again. Isn't that just easing it? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure about the politics behind the, uh, the capital punishment system. At the moment, that is. You know, sometimes, yeah, I can see it. Sometimes I can't. There you go, that's just how it works. Then again, mm. if anything, it's an easy release from the the standards of prison living, being that you're, you'll be st well staying in a prison for the rest of your life. So, I mean, what's really worse? You know, having that shortened for you, because they're both going to end one way anyway. <clears throat> or have it sped up for you, and you don't have to go through all that other stuff that's um, prison. So, <laughs> you know, really, the lot to it. When you are, maybe I'm going too deep. I feel like I am a little bit. Let's just go ahead and designate this as a cell instead of talking about the uh, possible politics of the uh, the system that we have. We'll also go ahead and designate this. I think it's already designated as a death row area. Yep, it is. So these are the death row cells right here. They've got their own TV. They've got a nice bed. Not really a nice bed, but a bed. And of course, some toilets. Which have not been fully connected. Like, these guys look like they want to go in and connect stuff, but they're not doing it. So they're not opening that door. Kind of means that we need to have some normal guards in here as well. Yeah, okay. These normal guards don't really do anything. Yeah, they really don't, do they? Wait, armed patrol. Okay. Oh, I see. That's why. They're just sort of standing there. I was like... Guys, are you alright? You don't seem happy. Ah, beautiful. So there's two guards. One's got a gun. One's the guy that's company. But he's the guy that talks, okay? The other one's menacing. That's how that works. Right, anyway, let's stop talking about wherever the hell we are talking about. 70 prisoners up for parole? Apparently the parole hearings are not, uh, 
paroli enough. Paroli. I could do with some paroli right now. That sounds delicious. Probably isn't. It's probably something really foul in like a, a language I do not know of. Right. Drug addiction. Apparently seven people have passed. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. 32 in queue for alcohol, uh, alcohol group therapy, which has a new thing. Guard taser certification. Two in queue. 122 passed. Only 56 have passed. Okay. Interesting. Pro hearing. 70 in queue. 61 finish. 33 have passed. 54%. Not amazing, really, is it? And uh, that is just there for some reason. That is how that works. Probably a good idea to have more than one parole hearing. There we are. So we got four parole hearings. That should be easy enough to deal with. Since we have so many people that's required to go on parole right now that I don't really see much of a problem of having multiple people in the parole rooms. I'm not sure who gets involved with the parole. Something tells me that the manager, not the manager, where where are you? The warden or whatever his name is. Where are you? Oh yeah, the warden. There we go. I think the warden gets involved. I'm not really too sure. Maybe the lawyer or psychologist. We'll have to find that out at a later date. Let's go ahead and just stop screwing around. Let's get like, uh, hmm. What's this? Oh, the ratio. Oh, damn. So, no, we don't want all. Wait, all is only 100? Okay, interesting. Well, no, we don't want that many. Go to none. Let's go up to 240 again. 40 is the magic number. You know, I'm feeling pretty good at 40. It's the new It's the new 30. It's the new 20, ladies and gentlemen, this day and age. Mm. And I am, I am going to live with that in mind. Now, we also want to go ahead and get... Oh, there's actually zero available for the death row right now. So I tell you what, we'll, we'll have it open, but we only want like one or two. So eventually the death row thing is going to open up. If we go to our programs, I'm pretty sure we can screw around with the death row feature. There we go, the death row appeal. So led by an appeals uh, magistrate in a parole, in a parole, assisted by appeals lawyer, Session length four hours. Each prisoner requires a visitor's table. Prison uh, prisoner is on death row. Can hire externally. Students sit. Repeatable. Can be outside of work hours. Teachers sit. Students can be escorted by guards. Can only be done once every four days. Easy. So there we are. We want to start this just so it's a thing. So that when we do have someone off death row, we can... You know, get something sorted out for it. If we go to our schedules right here, just so we can make sure nothing is awkwardly placed. Everything's in the green. Green being the working hours, I believe. Is that it? They only work six hours? That doesn't sound right to me. No, it is right. Okay. I guess I did slow down their work hours because they were getting a little bit, you know, a little bit touchy, to say the least. Oh, okay, wait. It's sleep time, which means it's shakedown time. Do the shake. Shake, shake, shake. Wow, there are a lot of cells to, uh, to search. <laughs> Apparently, there are a lot of cells to sh uh, shirt. I keep saying shirt. 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 Not too sure why I'm saying it like that. Let's make sure there are people actually working in these cleaning cupboards. Looks like there are. We can get two more in here. Why the hell not? Can't we get one more in there? No, nope, I guess not. They're fine. There's a cleaning cupboard over there by the looks of things. Oh, we found ourselves a diggy hole, ladies and gentlemen. Diggy, diggy hole. Let's go ahead and ring the ring ding dees. Uh, anyway, sure. You need to get some CIs in, installed. Not installed. They need to actually work with the CIs. That might be a good idea. If we go to our intelligence. Not intelligence. I'm going to the, the whole dig thing. And I'm going to remove it. Ooh, what was that? So, let's see. If we do this. So, as you can see, only that area is the one that's green. Which means we're pretty lucky. I just keep doing this because I'm waiting for another hole to spawn. It looks like another hole isn't going to spawn. There are a few more sort of around these areas though. There's one up there. It's mostly these ones though. We've got to get rid of them. Menace to society. There's so much being found right now. Well, no. Now that I think about it. There's a lot of places they're looking. And when you look at the grand search... 
you can definitely see that there's a significant decrease to contraband from what we had last time. They're still looking in the cells, though. And it's still sleeping. It's actually shower time. So they're just sort of finishing off their search. It's nearly there. It's just taking a little while. I kind of want them to finish. It looks like they will actually finish now. There's always just a little bit that they can't search. I've never known why. It just sort of stops at some point. Like right now. Yeah, it just stops. Oh. 